projects in front of me. Uh, they are all made with our brand new slimline dies. Very excited about these. So all of these cards here I've made in the past week over on our Facebook page, on the Facebook live streams. And when we're done, we'll go ahead and pop those links in the description. Hello, below. my friend. Happy in case you missed any of them. <laughs> um, so we are excited to be doing a YouTube live. Erica and I are going to pop up here. Well, hey there, Erica. Hi. Uh oh. Um, what's that? Yes, you're. No, go back. <laughs> go back in the middle. I think I need to cover up some things that are behind me. <laughs> Oh, well, you're exposing them now. <laughs> so Erica is um, holed up in her office. We, uh, during this time with the, the pandemic and quarantine, we've been keeping our staff really small in the office so that, you know, we can maintain social distance and wear masks when we need to. And as our small business grows, thank you for helping us with that, by the way. Um, our office is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So Erica's had to give up some of her office space to some warehouse. Yes. Things. And things that you know, in the warehouse. It has been, um, <laughs> we started out by doubling up and now the warehouse is taking over all of our offices as well. So we're, we're, we were doubled up before COVID, which means we can't come in at the same time as our office mate. And now that the warehouse is taking over, we have even less space for just ourselves. So, so staying at home is not always a bad thing. Yeah, it's like, you better be careful on days that you don't come into the office, which actually is most days. We have very few days and hours in the office, but every time you come back, you don't know what to expect because there may be the warehouse encroaching on your office space. We are, we are working our way through everyone. And now that we have an ink restock, so we got to the point where we were so low on ink. We had so many colors out of stock and it just was a really not a good situation for crafters. Yeah. Uh, but now that we are getting our restocks in, um, now we have to figure out where to put those restocks in the, in the warehouse. So it's been some interesting finagling. Um, I think our, our staff is becoming uh, expert puzzle, puzzle people. I think we should, we will be able to start our own Cirque du Soleil act soon. <laughs> <laughs> but we are working on new office space and I think we're getting close. We have a, we have a spot uh, that we have picked out. We've been working on securing that location and then we should hopefully have that within the next five or six weeks. Everyone cross their fingers for us Ooh! and we'll be um, almost tripling our size. So that will be really nice. So say a little prayer. I feel like I'd like to be able to go into my new office before my birthday. That's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, I can't do any wishful thinking. Jeez. Well, you can. What a dream smasher. <laughs> you, you can wishful think, but I don't want you to be too disappointed. Now, Erica, October 7th, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, I don't expect everything to be like perfect, but I just, it would just be fun to like be able to sit in my new office. Maybe you can sit in there, but I can think of like a card table, like a folding card table. And just once we sit. get our space, then construction has to happen. So I think it's going to be a while. I think we need to aim for my birthday. Okay. Um, because my birthday is in January and it's a big one coming up. And 25, I'm baby. What? 25, baby. That's right. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get in there before then. I think I'm pretty sure it's gonna be before mid-January. So but let's let's aim, let's aim for that. Um, so anyway, you guys, thanks for joining us here. Um, that is a little background on our situation. I also want to address shipping. So we do have an update for shipping on, on our site. And we are live, right? We're good. We're on YouTube. We are, yeah. Because my, my chats aren't coming through. So <clears throat> I can't see. I know we're good. Saying. But shipping, um, if your pound, if your package is under a pound, 
it goes like regular mail, whatever that's called. If it hits a pound, it automatically gets shipped priority to the post office. Priority is supposed to be two-day shipping. Now, that doesn't mean when you get priority, like it goes to the top. Of, so this is the process. When you place an order, when people place orders, we ship them in the order that they come in. If you place a, a priority shipping, that means once it leaves our office, it's priority shipping with the U.S. post office. And because of the challenges that the post office is facing right now, a lot of times we're seeing it's not two days anymore. And I want you guys to know that we are doing everything in our power to get your packages to a, to you as quickly as possible. But once it leaves our office, we unfortunately don't have control at that time. So I want everyone to know if you have priority, it might, it's not two days anymore, usually. Sorry. <laughs> and, but, and honestly, even with that, there's not been necessarily consistency. So I think we mentioned yeah. before on a live that we've had a few days where our postal worker that normally comes isn't working and then the substitute one doesn't come at all or they don't come on on the normal time and sometimes we have to shift and sometimes the team packs up orders in their car and takes them to the local post office so like we do everything that we can but right. um with what's happening with covid and the postal service being overwhelmed and understocked or staffed yeah. um we're even dealing with that for ourselves. So things that get manufactured for us and are being delivered to us has been very unpredictable. And some of the things that we use, we know our timetables. And so some of the products we have on our timetable where we would expect it to be back in house by a certain date, that's just not the case right now. And no one can kind of guarantee that even for us. So even our manufacturers are saying, hey, look, we're doing our best to get stuff to you. But again, like, we're not sure when it's going to get to you. So everyone's just really having to be flexible and patient. And we are still working super hard to try to uphold the standard that we have set for our customer service and shipping. And hopefully you still feel um, happy with that process. Um, just know that we're doing the absolute best that we can uh, with what we're dealing with. Yeah. So thank you for your, your patience. And um, that that's, you know, piggybacking on that. <clears throat> when we order product for a release, we have a, a pretty decent of idea of how many we're going to sell. We've gotten pretty good at that, um, but sometimes we get surprised. And one of the drawbacks right now is when we put a product on sale, if it sells out, like we found with our Hey Pumpkin uh, stamp set and dies, our stamp manufacturer has been slower than normal, but still pretty good. But our dye manufacturer is way behind. So it's taking like five or six weeks sometimes to get dye restocks. So that's with these slim lines. If you see something today that you cannot live without, make sure you hop over to the shop today because our wholesalers have been all over these dyes and our customers have been waiting for them. So the stock that we have now, we have a pretty decent stock, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do sell out. We actually anticipated once we put in our first order that we would sell out. So we do have more on the way, but it's still going to be mid-September before they get here. So bear with us. We're doing the very best we can. And you guys really are very patient as a rule. So thank yeah. you for that. I'm just um, reading through the comments and everyone, thank you so much. We appreciate you being so supportive and understanding. So yeah, folks are saying they get it. So because um, when you guys get sad and upset about things, it makes us sad and upset because yeah. we want you to have your crafting project products that you want. And of course, we know it's not the end of the world. But during this time, like crafting is save us, saving us all. So we want you to have your stuff in a timely manner. So we're doing the best we can. You guys are amazing. So are we ready one of the monthly subscription services has been like super delayed. And I I don't really know why, um, but like the date that it normally gets scheduled to go has been fluctuating. And then the number of days it takes to get to me after that has also been fluctuating. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, after two months, I was like, oh, I guess it's just not going to come when I'm used to it coming. And then I'm like, okay. And so it, it arrives when it does. And it's always a surprise. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh. <laughs> Everyone needs just a little bit of expectation adjustment right now and we'll be okay. <laughs> but let's take a look at these products. So I have been stamping away. This is our Essentials Slimline die. I'm going to create with this today. 
I think this is going to be a staple for everyone's stash, and you can use it on projects that are not slimline as well. This is our Sunray slimline. So you can see it has this outer, um, help me out, this outer, per, the, the, whatever. Um, mm, what is that called? <laughs> oh. You gotta love an outer whatever. Great. An outer whatever. So we got that. And I'm gonna show this to you in a minute, so this will make more sense. But these three cards are made with the Sunray. And if we have time, I'm gonna make a card with this as well. And then here is the rainbow slimline. And this is what that looks like. So here is the rainbow slimline. And it cuts out this uh, card layer. And then it cuts out the little rainbow rays. And then you can inlay them back in. Let me see how that's done. Yeah, and that would be or you can just add the rays to a slimline. This is the, the rays just uh, glued onto a slimline card base. I made this on Monday on Facebook Live. No, I made this one. This one. So then I just took the sun rays and I added it to a regular card. I love this card, you guys. And Thank then you. I did that with the sentiment, which I'm going to do that again today and show you how to uh, curve your sentiments. So you can use that die as a stencil as well. What's that? You can use the die as a stencil as well. Absolutely. Um, Christy Goulet made a bunch of cards with this. And that's actually, I forgot to say last the other day, that's where I got the idea of stamping the pattern on these sun rays. I got that from Christy because she did that and I thought that was a great idea. And so I used the Fearless Pursuit stamp set. Mine is well loved. It has all these fun shapes that are great for stamping onto those sun rays. We have some items for sale in the shop uh, for the next uh, five days. I think they go off sale on Sunday. This is one of them. I thought this was a great set to go along with these products. So I told Jenny to put it on sale for you guys so you can, get, so you can add it to your stash. Um, let's see. Okay, so that's this one. That's this one. We're going to look at those a little bit more. But I wanted to show you the essential. Um, oh, hold on. Hold up. This oh. just got into the office like two days ago. You guys, I didn't even have one for myself. <laughs> so there's some ink blending with the faceted stencil. So this was created to uh, cover a slimline card. So there's that one. This is now in the shop. And then we also have the leopard stencil. And I'm going to use that today. So here it is stenciled on a card. I guess first off, I should show you how to cut a slimline card. So my paper cutter, I've got an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock, and I'm gonna cut it at the eight and a half side at seven. I'm gonna use my scoring blade at three and a half. Catherine, Teresa is asking if she can use her regular size Big Shot cutter to um, cut with the slimline dies. Okay, that's a great question, and I'm going to cover that because, yes. Um, I'm going to show that to you in a second. So yeah. then you have this card base. This fits perfectly into a size 9 envelope, a size t which is a business size envelope. And then there's a size 10 also that is just a little bit bigger than this. I like the size nine because it's it it's such a good fit. And then I can cut my cardstock like this and not have any waste. And then I can take this piece and use that for my layers. So let me show you, um, where'd my rainbow go? Okay, so what I do, get a little purple tape. You're going to take your, your die and you're going to line it up on your card. And this is eight and a half inches long and so is the cardstock. So it is going to fit perfectly. You don't have a lot of room there on the end blades. So use a little bit of purple tape so it doesn't slide around. Okay. 
And then I always check back here to make sure the edges of my card are lined up with the blades on the side. Now, if this, if you need some more room, take your paper and cut it the long way. Cut it at like four, maybe. Four. Yeah. And then this is going to give you extra space so that you don't have to worry about that so much. The ends, you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So then this is, this is a little tricky. The plates are about just a little over eight and a half. So line up the die in the middle of the plate, add your other plate, and then run this through. And if you have enough tape on here, if you pull it through, here's this one, and you notice maybe it didn't cut the end well enough, you can either take your scissors to it or move it. Yeah. Form. You just have to be really careful not to move the paper. They do sell extended platforms and extended plates, and we have them on order. They're a little delayed, so it's going to probably be next week before we get them in the shop. So this will give you a chance to see if this is a little bit of a struggle for you and you would rather have the extended plates, but we will be carrying those in the shop if you feel like you need them. Does that help? And it's just like, if you feel pretty confident, I would definitely give it a shot with your regular size plates. Um, and if you feel like it would be easier than um, investing in them would be a really good plan, the extended plates. Yeah. Elena just special delivered me uh, unsweetened iced tea. She did? <laughs> In case she didn't know, that's my 17th. I unknowingly paid for it, though, so. <laughs> Did you pay for it? I think Anna unknowingly paid for it. Oh. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so the Essential Slim Line is a great set of dies because it comes with this outer layer here. It is a scallop, a nice small little scallop edge. Oh, I, can you see? I just ripped that. Oh no. Careful. And with the but, tape, when it goes through the die cut machine, I like to take it and put it on my pants or my shirt to get it a little bit less sticky because when it goes through your die cut machine, it's squashed down and it really gets that tape on there. And it's you know, more of a chance of tearing like I just did. But I like the uh, is not quite as tacky, so that kind of works too to hold yeah. it. Where's my happy memo tape? It's around here somewhere. All right, so I've got this piece for the slim line. The first layer. This is going to have to go this way because I have a play in here. All right. So can you see how that fits on there perfectly? Look at that cute dash trim. Love it. Yes. Okay. And then we have another layer here. Peel this purple tape off. So did I answer that about the plates? Is everybody feeling okay about that? Okay, so then this cuts out this. And then you can also, where did my scallop piece go? Okay, so you can cut, like once you cut this, you can cut this out of the center and then you get the frames like this. You get this frame here, the blue. With the little wind. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do a little ink blending with melanite. I need you to that? take that flapper of paper off first. What's that? <laughs> the little place where the paper picked. I need you to fix that. <laughs> well, we're gonna cover that up. So let me just peel it off. There you go. Are you feeling all right about that now? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go wonky when you ink blend, then <laughs> you don't get the flapper off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're going to cover up.
covered up, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Okay. Right, I'm use, this is, let me see, I kind of want my bigger one, my Pink and Main ink blending brush. I love melon ice. I do too. I'm going to add some melon ice ink to this pad. Get it a little I bit. I feel like melon ice is one of those colors that just pops beautifully with so many combos. Um, on Stamp Nation, we do a lot of color challenges, and I grab that one a lot for color challenges because it just it's just a great accent color when you're um, putting a color combo together. It is a great, great color. I love it. I think I'd like melanize doors on our new bathroom. Yeah. Okay. So I've got some streaks going on here. I'm not terribly worried about it because I'm going to do stenciling over the top. <clears throat> if I wasn't live and trying to just get this done, I would work harder to achieve a better blend or a more consistent, even blend. But um, since the stencil is going to go on top, I'm not worried about that. So I used a little bit of Pixie spray earlier. So I just sprayed the back of this so it's tacky. I do want to use a little purple tape on the back, though, as well, because I want to make sure this does not slide. Okay. So we had a question about the September release, and someone else said, yes, yeah, we need to know how much money to save before the September release comes. I don't know what we can tell you. Um, I can think of a couple things, but I don't know if I should. <laughs> how many bundles do we have? Four? We have, we have three. Four bundles, yeah. Two larger bundles and two smaller bundles. And it's definitely... Can I say something? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I want to say like classic Christmas icon feel. Oh, wow. How does that That's feel? A That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> I could say more. I could say more. I think that's good. It's a really fun collection. Really fun. It is. It is. And I feel like there's definitely something for every holiday card making style. <gasps> oh my gosh. Whoa. Shut your face. <laughs> that looks um, I would like the wall of my office to look like that. <laughs> Melon ice leopard print. Is there anything better? I don't I'd know. I'd also like it blocked. <laughs> I'd like it blocked. I want. I need to come in the office and get some metallics gel because that, when you stencil that, oh. it gives a foiled look. And that's what I'm really excited to try with this. So I was going to use, you guys, these came out earlier this summer and we thought they were perfection with the leopard print. So we have the O oh Baby stamp set and the Born to be Wild stamp set. How cute with this leopard print. And I have idea an idea for the little die cuts that go with these guys, like just doing the leopard and then die cutting and then putting the little bow from, put a bow on it right on his ear. And I was gonna make that today, but I can't find my bow dies. So I need to come in the office and get more. You have the little kitty. Yeah, I will be making that on um, Facebook later. <clears throat> so I have a bunch of things cut out. So with the essentials dies, maybe Erica, can you, I don't have like a full one put together. Will you grab those so you can show everyone like what it looks like before everything is cut out, cut apart? Cause it oh, comes yeah. with all these little yeah. layering pieces as well. Yeah, no problem. <clears throat> I'm gonna just zoom in a little so you can see a little closer. But I was gonna take one of these squares and build a little uh, kind of scene, so to speak, on here with some of these animals. So 
I have a bunch of them already cut out. Yeah. And stamped because you know how I love to die cut and then stamp a bunch so I have them on hand. <clears throat> I'm going to do favorite. And you guys got to tell me if I should do the black favorite or the white. I'm thinking black. And then I'm going to do maybe a little zebra, a little bird on his back. Although I don't think I want a samba bird. Well, I don't know. That looks really no! good. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, <do. laughs> I think a little monkey needs to go over here. And I think a little heart. So, I kind of don't want your monkey to be brown. What? I kind of think your monkey should be a bright color. Like what color? I don't know. What There's do you have? Blue. I have one already done in blue. That's cute. I'm All thinking right. like a flirty fuchsia monkey. Is that crazy? <clears throat> I don't know. Don't have stamp one. I have a die cut here. So okay. You got votes for black. Um, mostly votes for black on the die. I mean, the yeah, the favorite. Okay. And oh. Kimberly is wanting to know about what kind of ink pads you have. So she's asking pigment dye. She doesn't know the difference in those things. Oh, okay. So these are Catherine Puller inks. They are dye-based inks, so they're water-based. Um, they're water-reactive. They're really great for blending, and they are on a foam pad so that when you ink your stamp, all you need is a really light tap tap for a fully inked stamp. And then when you stamp, you get full coverage. Although looks like my ink pad needs re-inking. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, so we sell the ink refills. We just add a little bit of ink there. And then the ink now is going to be streaky because it's not all blended in. So take one of our blocks. The edges are really smooth, so they're going to be gentle on your ink pad. And just take it and rub it against your ink pad and spread that ink out. Now let me try this again. Let me try it on scrap paper first. So light tap tap. And that's better. Now, do I have another monkey die cut? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. So does that help about the ink? Controversial monkey stamp that without a second part looks a bit like a bug. Like what? <laughs> I said our controversial monkey that without his second stamp looks a bit like a weird alien bug. <laughs> his little ears. Okay, so here is the rest of them. And you guys, another thing that we added to the shop today, does anybody have this? The Nuvo Scrubber. So it's this scrub pad to clean your stamps. And then we're trying a new cleaner, Nuvo Stamp Cleaning Solution. I've been using it for a couple weeks and I really like it. I like the Nuvo Stamp Cleaner and I also like Ultra Clean. Ultra Clean is a little bit oily and I think the Nuvo is a little bit less oily than that. Um, and also when you're stamping, have you guys ever a brand new stamp, stamped it for the first time and the ink kind of bubbles up and doesn't stamp really well? If that ever happens to me, I just take my stamp and I rub it on the stamp clean cleaner. And then I usually just kind of go like this, make sure it's clean and any residue that might be on there from the manufacturer gets removed. And then when you stamp it, you're gonna get a cleaner stamped image. So it's one reason I like that cleaner pad. Yeah, I tend to stamp off um, onto a scrap paper the first time I use a new stamp, um, just to kind of see where I'm at with that. And then mm -hmm. if I need a little rub, I can do that. So Penny is asking about finding refills in the shop. Penny, if you go um, on, into the shop under the inks, there are drop down tabs and you can have one of three options. You can order just the ink pad, just a refill, or you can order the bundle of ink pad and refill. So they're listed with the ink colors. So does anybody know where my Misty stamping tool is? Because I need it right now. Diane took it. Diane, again? 
Oh my goodness, you guys, I don't see it. Because I was going to curve around. I was going to use this stamp set. This is the stamp set that goes with the favorite word die. And I was going to do Days With You Are My Favorite. And I thought that was really fun to put on here with these animals and just send it to a friend to brighten her day. So you can do it straight across. I was going to like curve it like this. And yeah. find the best results if I use my Misty. But let me try... Let me try curving it around on this block. So let's see. How's this going to look? Favorite. Oh, that's good. That's going to work fine. All right. Let's do that. Grab my midnight ink pad. Susan said she doesn't know where your Misty is. <laughs> Me either. It's gone. I need to clean up my stamp room, you guys. I've been living between two stamp rooms. I know that sounds like a really bad problem to have. <laughs> well, this is your office at home. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my office at home, and I have my office at the office, and it's just been a little crazy. Oh, this is going to be so cute. I say, oh, no, you're <laughs> What's that? Nothing. You got it. Okay. Say a little prayer. Oh, yes. Perfect. Okay. I I wasn't thinking I wanted the Samba bird, but now that I see it with the melon ice, I think it looks fantastic. And what are we thinking about the monkey? Uh, we've got... I don't know. If you're thinking with the Samba bird, then I'm not sure. We'll have to take votes. Okay. Who thinks? Monkey, no monkey, and if you think a monkey, what color? If you're watching the replay, we also have a video showing how to stamp all of these animals because I have them all stamped out here. They're so adorable. So after the live, I'll also add the link for that so you guys can go and watch that re replay in case you're wondering about any of them. Anne Marie said she made her husband's birthday card with the favorite sentiment set and her eight year old had her or had their feelings hurt that um, she said daddy was her favorite. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is really cute. Days of you are my favorite. That is so adorable. Okay. So I'm going to add the square on there. Maybe you should direct to paper that heart in Samba. Okay. I was going to direct to paper it in something, but I hadn't decided yet. Well, that might tie the bird in. Okay. Okay. We've got a vote for a blue monkey, a vote for a brown monkey with the Samba bird. The votes are rolling in now. Let's see here. <laughs> Rhino decided he wants to be a part of the card. <laughs> I'm thinking, what about Coral Cabana on the heart? Because brown monkey is not a bird. Let's see. Like a shade. Are his in the samba? Are the zebra zebras hoofs Coral Cabana? They or are Bellini. Bellini. All that jazz monkey controversial. Oh. Somebody. Nice? Oh. A monkey. Brown monkey with samba bird. I'm gonna foam tape the zebra. Coral for the monkey, brown monkey. Most votes so far have been for the brown monkey. Okay. I can do that. And I need more foam tape. I was gonna make a shaker card on this YouTube. I don't have enough foam tape left. So I, I did off because they think it was like the bird and the zebra are together. The zebra are like days with you, me, bird, and zebra are my favorite. Wait, you know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, days with you are my favorite. And then you said bird, zebra, and what? Just like the bird and the zebra are the two people that are spending the day together. Yeah. Like no monkey. Just no like. Monkey? Yeah. <laughs> Two monkeys holding hands. <laughs> that might be a little much. Like the bird and the zebra are best friends. You guys, I think that's a little controversial. She just said no monkey. I, I don't know. 
We got another vote for a blue monkey. Let's see. Let's let them catch up and see what they think of of what I'm saying. <laughs> and then the, the yeah, we look at our best friends. We love spending the day together. The bird eats the bugs off the zebras. Okay, bed. that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Crater Lake sequins, you guys. I don't have enough of my sequins here either, so I'm constantly just going straight to my Crater Lake. I need to go through my stamp room and organize and get things under control because things have just gotten completely out of control here. So I think I always like a sequin on a little heart like that. Isn't that cute? And then maybe a couple sequins on the other side. <clears throat> Maybe a smaller one. I'm do a small one and then a bigger one over here. I haven't put this on a card base yet. Oh, that is adorable. And then it just goes right on here. And then I'll just walk over and hand this to Randall. <laughs> I'll walk over to the dining room. <laughs> Sometimes he throws cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A couple of people are on my team, no monkey. And a couple of people are just aghast that I don't think that there should be a monkey. But I have different opinions about symmetry on cards than maybe other people do. So <laughs> they're missing the monkey. So maybe he needs to go on there. All right. I'm doing monkey. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And if you don't like the monkey when you make your card... Don't put the monkey on there. I won't. No monkey for me. <laughs> it's so cute. Isn't this adorable? That is adorable. Yeah. So fun. Okay. So I do have, let's see, we're at 1238. I have one more plan for you guys. Um, I just love, love the texture of that stencil. And you know, I'm like, I'm scared of stencils, but I have to have that one. Yeah, I'm going to do a lot of fun things with this stencil. And it's made for slimline cards, so you can get a consistent pattern all the way across. Because if, if you're using not like the six by sixes, it's only going to go to like here. But you can piece it. Like I pieced this patterned paper because this patterned paper was six by six. There's a little seam right there. And you, can, you can't even see it. Yeah, yeah. The, the patterns meet right here. So you can piece them together, but it's nice if you have a slim line. And then you'll be able to also use parts of it on a regular card. Just let me spill all those. Yeah. Things. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say you could also just use the stencil on a part of the card and then and then not not cover the whole back if that, if you had a smaller one. Um, Denise. Our slim lines are formatted to work with um, so that you can make the whole card out of an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and they fit snugly perfectly in a number nine envelope or also if you have the 10 legal size, that's just a little bit bigger. So a number nine or a number 10 work perfectly. Oh, here it is. Okay. So I was going to um, show you the sun ray while I was looking for it because my room is a mess now. These are two more slim line cards that Aaron Thompson and Daniel West made uh, before we had the slim line dies. So super fun. I love both of those so much. Okay. So here we go. I die cut this earlier and I have a little part right here that didn't get completely cut. I'm going to end up getting those extended plates, I think. I think it'll just be a little bit easier for me. So then I used a bunch of tape to make sure it was all secured. And, oh, ah, I ripped Stop it. doing it fast and tearing things. <laughs> I know, but when I'm on live, I try to be efficient. I can't get extender plates until I have a new place to live because I can't get any more things. I don't want to have to pack oh. anything else in my house. So poor Erica, she's she's trying to move her house right now, and then she's going to have to move her office. So this is the year of moving for you, Erica. Yeah, and it'll be probably, well, 
No, I, sh I should be moving before our office moves based on the timeline you gave here at the beginning of this. Yeah. And then the, the, these moves will be permanent locations for us. So that will be really nice. All right. I might let you um, visit a place with me this week. Ooh, I'm there. And we're moving Anna out of her apartment this weekend. Oh. <laughs> so oh, our Anna, difficult season for people in her age demographic for sure. It's what? A really difficult season for people in her age it, demographic. It is. It's tough. So Elena, one of our brand ambassadors today, did this really cool card. And so I wanted to copy it and show you how she made it. So I'm going to take this first sun ray piece and I'm just going to do direct to paper. Um, it's really easy to color your own cardstock. And now I have It's a Girl cardstock. There is a little streakiness going on there right this minute, but it will smooth and even out as it dries. Okay, so next let's do Bellini. Yeah, and you guys, if you're if you haven't tried um, hopping into the slimline craze yet, I will just say that um, Catherine and I have mentioned like both of us were a little reluctant, but once you start playing on a different sort of layout, it is really a lot of fun because it challenges you to think in a different way, and um, it just adds a freshness to your card making. Mm -hmm. So now I find myself doing it very often because it's just something different to do. So yeah. um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to try something new. I agree. Can we plan and out? If you, don't want to get, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah. Pixie Dust is going to be my last one. I'm going to do It's a Boy. <laughs> and then I need one more color. So should I go Garden Party? Or should I do meant to be? You guys vote which what this middle color should be. Because I did melanice, which is a like a lemon yellow. Like no, yeah. It's like yeah. a yeah, like lemon a, lime. Lemon lime. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do the purple and we'll do the the blue. <clears throat> These are all spring fling colors. So Bellini is peach. Sue, it's a peach color, but it's um, it's kind of a dark peach. It's very pretty. Um, and I'm torn on that. I kind of like garden party, but I, I know what it'll look like. But um, meant to be would also be pretty. Let's see. We've got some votes for yellow, which oh. um, you could. Uh -huh. Do limoncello, yeah, um, and then some votes for mint to be. Quite a few votes for yellow. Oh well, let's pull in limoncello. But then they're out of order. So that gives me a twitch, guys. <laughs> they are out of order, but you know what? I'm embracing the out of order rainbow these days. Okay, it's really fun. Although I would do more out of order than this. Um, but okay, Martha and Kimberly, um, you take your eight and a half by 11 paper and you cut it to seven by eight and a half. And then you fold that in half for your card base. And then the leftover piece you have, you can cut that down to three and a half by eight and a half or three and a quarter by eight and a quarter for your card layer. Yeah. So one piece of paper, eight and a half by 11, down to eight and a half by seven. And then the leftover piece will form your card layer. Do we want, uh, I did show that at the earlier in the video, but I'm glad to do it again before we finish up here. If people want me to show that again, those are the measurements we like because it's very paper saving. Oh my goodness. Belinda is really smart. Oh, what's this? She's saying if we turn the green and yellows over, you probably could flip them, trade oh. their place. Oh, and then do them in rainbow order. <laughs> <clears throat> so the, yes, I totally could. It depends on how um, committed you are to having, cause you know when you die cut, like yeah, you cut 
bends the cardstock over a little yeah. bit. And the so then on the other side, it's like bent the other way. So it just depends on your comfort level with the bending situation. Wow. And when you go direct the paper on the bent part, sometimes it, you get a little line. Yeah. So. But that is a great idea. I think it looks great. Oh. We're right. not going to be rigid about it. We're going to go wild and let the colors be just the way that they are. All right. <clears throat> um, I'm thinking, I don't know what that means. Doo -doo -doo. And so then I'm just going to inlay all these pieces right back in. And like I said, this is an idea that I saw on Alina Krause's blog today. She made a gorgeous card just like this. And I wanted to show you guys how to do it. You're a little bit low in the frame. Okay. I, I figured I was, but I didn't have room. So there we go. Okay. Better. <laughs> now we have another decision to make you guys. I kind of, I really like the limoncello next to the, uh, it's a boy. That's cool. What did you use for the little half circle part at the bottom of the sun? Tiara. Oh, cool. There we go. Okay. So Elena did sunshine, uh, our sunshine word dye. I thought I would do our happy word dies. So this is happy times three. And when you die cut these, that's the middle one. This is the smallest one. And then the largest one. Do I have that? I love that. I haven't used that in a while. I need to break it out. Yeah, no. So you can do a triple layer here with the happy die. So happy times three. I thought I would use two layers on this one. So we have to decide um, oh, that black on so white cool. or white on black. I had this, oh, here it is. Okay. So you guys decide, I think I know which one I want, but I'll let you guys decide. And so then, happy do you have one of the cards you made with that die using the patterned paper you can show real quick while yeah. we think of the colors? Yep. So here's one with black and white polka dots and a black outline. And this one is with the rainbow stripe. And then here's one with all different patterns. So fun. And then, oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so I already embossed. This is the little stamp set that goes with the Happy Times 3. This is the So Happy stamp set. I have a bunch of little flowers here if I decide to add a flower. But I did You Fill My Life with Happy. And so, which one do we want? Black background or white background? <clears throat> So, uh, let's see, we've got black on white, 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 white on black. <laughs> Most people saying black on white. Okay. I was going to do the white on black, but <clears throat> we'll go with it. So, Cindy, our slimline dies are uh, just at eight and a half by three and a half. And if you're just tuning in, um, definitely be sure to go back and watch the replay. There's lots of great information in here and sizing and how to cut them and lots of great examples as well. And if you guys are not a part of our newsletter list, you can head over to katherinepooler.com or shop.katherinepooler.com and enter your name in the email subscribe box. And then you will be sure to keep up with all of our happenings. All right, so I need to make sure I cover that little boo-boo on the pink so we don't twitch. <laughs> mm, I don't know. It's not going to be totally, well, unless I go off the side of the card. There I go. Or what if you tell Oh, it's too late. I'm committed. It I, I did it. I did it. I went for it. 
<clears throat> and then some foam tape on the sentiment. There, that's really fun. <clears throat> so thank you, Alina, for the inspiration on this card. There's that one, and there's the favorite slimline cards. So fun. All right, Erica, you ready to come up? One sec. Yep. That was fun. <laughs> so many cute cards. Did you guys want me to do the, the cutting again? Show the cutting once more? You can do it. Okay. Oh, do I have? Hold on. Do I have a sheet? Oh, I do. Okay, so here's your eight and a half by 11. You're gonna cut at the eight and a half side because this is how large the slimline dies are. And this fits into your nine, number nine envelope. So cut it at seven inches and then take your scoring blade and score at three and a half. And then fold, this fits into a number nine. Then take this piece and you can die cut it with the slimline dies and that will be your layer on top. If you want like the traditional layer, you can do three and a quarter by eight and a quarter and then you will have a layer for your card that way. And this is the way we, these are the measurements that we like because it's paper saving. It works perfectly with your eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Awesome. Yay! <laughs> so that is that slimline dies and stencils. Hope you guys um, like the projects and are excited to jump into the slimline trend just like we are. We've had a ball with it. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah. I can't stop myself now. I feel like I've made, I was looking at my Insta feed the other day and I'm like, oh, I need to do a traditional shaped card because I'm starting to go slimline crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, you guys, for hanging out and creating with us today. I hope you're inspired. And even if you're not ready to jump on the slimline trend, you can still use some of these design ideas and um, the way, you know, I put things together and color combinations and use it inspiration on your next card making project. So thanks for hanging out. Um, are we going live again this week on Facebook? Probably. Friday? Could do Friday. I also was thinking we haven't done an evening in a while. So it could be Thursday night or Friday, but we will let you guys know. How about that? <laughs> Just watch the Facebook page and we'll post an update about it. Good? Good. Have a oh, great thank you with us, guys. Bye. Have a good evening or wherever you are. <laughs>